Hi, it's Christy, and today I wanted to talk about something that I am thankful for. I think it's a great way to start 2019. And what am I thankful for? So on January 1st of 2019, I woke up and as probably many people did on January 1st, we're kind of like, eh. And so I decided I didn't feel like making breakfast to the extent that even the thought of making a bowl of cereal seemed really difficult. So I did the much easier thing was, which was put on shoes and a coat and go to the bagel store. And I got to the bagel store and I was like, oh, I don't want a bagel. I'm gonna get these nice fluffy pancakes with fruit on top. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be this great breakfast because I'm really hungry because I didn't eat a lot last night. Perfect. And I ordered it and then I waited. And then I waited some more. And then I'm looking at my watch. And I'm still waiting and 20 minutes goes by and they were really busy at the bagel store like um I they had a couple uber orders there was people coming in the phones were ringing it, it was definitely a busy period in the bagel store so I I gave them some time but after 20 minutes I was like uh I, I have somewhere to be and it's not in here like in 10 you know like 10 15 minutes so I go to the girl and I'm like uh, I'm trying to find out where my order is. It's been 20 minutes. And she's like, oh, hang on. So she like looks and she comes back like the manager's there. And he was, he was working. He was, I think he's the owner or manager, whatever. And he was helping out and stuff. So she goes like in the back and then she comes back and then he, the uh, owner manager guy finds it. And it was actually sitting on the counter behind him where he was doing Uber orders. So I think it just kind of got lost in the shuffle. So because the way they gave me a muffin, which was nice, I appreciated the muffin. And I go home and now I have like 10 minutes to eat. I'm going on a coaching call. So I open up the container to eat my pancakes with my fruit and there is no fruit. Really, there is no fruit. And I wanted to cry. I was hungry, I was angry, I was hangry, very, very hangry, and I just wanted something to eat. And now I was going on this coaching call and I wasn't, I couldn't do anything about it. Really. And I was like, all right, I need to calm myself down. I can't go into a coaching call, like all wired up over my messed up breakfast. So I calm myself down and I go on the coaching call and the coaching call was great. It was amazing. Thank you, Giovanna. And so by the time I got off of it, I was like, uh, do I even want to complain about the breakfast? Like, yeah, I barely even ate half of a pancake, but uh, frankly, it was, it was an expensive half a pancake. So I ended up, I called my mother and I told her, she's like, you have to go back there and get your money back, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. So I go to the, back to the bagel store and um, a different girl at the counter, I'm like, hey, this is what happened. She's like, hang on. And she goes and gets the manager owner guy. And he comes out, he's like, I was hoping I would see you again under better circumstances. And he's like, and so I tell him, I'm like, there's no fruit. And he's like, he's like, why don't I just give you your money back? And I'm like, thank you, that, I appreciate that. And so while he's going through the register and trying to get me the money, He's like, I'm really sorry. He's like, that's not how I want my day to go. He's like, you know, I never want to have a customer disappointed. And you know, that that's what happened. And I'm really sorry about that. And so he, and he gave me my money back. And I, but I was like, it's okay. It's not a big deal. We all have days, you know, and I'm, I mean, and look, we've all been there. I know some days my office gets crazy busy and you're just like, we didn't screw anything up. Like, that's like the best I can say about like, we didn't screw anything up really bad. Like, so I totally get, I, I totally got it. And um, I appreciate my money back, but I also appreciate that he was very honest and that he felt bad about it. I was sort of authentic about it. And he, he put it in terms that I could be like, yeah, we've all been there. He doesn't need me yelling at him and berating him because I didn't get my breakfast. Like he obviously, that is not his goal in his business. So what I am thankful for is not the breakfast I had, 
which actually incidentally ended up being the muffin for like lunch. But I was thankful be that I had time or that I had this coaching call that A, gave me a gap of time before I could or I needed to go back to the store where I was able to put things in perspective. Look, nobody got hurt. Like I was hungry. I was still hungry. It was, it was annoying. Um, but I was able to walk into that store and not be crazy and not be upset. I was able to just walk and be like, Hey, here's what happened. And it opened up the conversations that I could let him offer me the money back and he could apologize. And, it allowed me to allow him to make it right instead of me forcing him to make it right. So that is what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for the time that it sometimes takes that little block that allows you to take you from being unhappy about something to being free with it. You can still be, unha you can still be unhappy, but not emotionally unhappy about it. And that was amazing. In this interaction so that's what I'm thankful for and something that I do want to work on more in 2019 when I'm sort of upset about something or unhappy about it something giving myself time to let the emotion out and freeing myself so that when I approach it head-on I'm able to so that's it um, I hope you guys have a wonderful 2019 give yourself time and be thankful for the little things around you happy new year